On the 29th of May, we have our South African national elections. As believers and followers of Christ, we find ourselves woven into the very fabric of society and called to be the salt and the light that Christ spoke about in Matthew 5, verse 13 to 16. I ask all our regions and assemblies to declare Sunday 26 May as a day of prayer, a day in which we all pray for peaceful elections. As Christians, we are not merely observers, but active contributors to the shaping of the world around us. Voting is not just a civic duty. It's a practical expression of our faith. Our Lord encourages us to engage with the world, to bring about positive change and to be instruments of His love and His justice. The Bible teaches us the importance of seeking the welfare of the city where God has placed us. By taking part in a national election in our country, we contribute to the decision-making processes that impact the very communities we all live in. Our voices matter. And through our votes, we can possibly align our values with policies that promote justice, compassion, and the well-being of all the people of our beloved country, South Africa. The Apostle Paul urged the early Christians to pray for those in authority. Voting is a tangible extension of our praise, as it enables us to choose leaders who will govern with integrity, uphold moral principles, and take our country forward. In this pivotal moment, let us rise to vote. Motivated by our shared faith, and the desire to see God's principles reflected in our nation's leadership. I am not telling you who to vote for, but I am encouraging you to make sure that you do vote. Let us be a beacon of light in the processes of democratic country and governance, shining forth the love of Christ and contributing to society that reflects His grace and His truth. God bless you as you vote on the 29th of May, 2024. Thank you.